everybody, it's Laura, and I am here today to show you how to make the little wooden gnomes that I share all over social media that everybody loves. So here are two that I already made in the autumn, a little pumpkin guy and a little leaf girl. And we're gonna turn this one today into a Valentine's Day gnome, a little love gnome. So get ready, because here we go. All right, so here are the little gnomes from autumn. There's a little pumpkin gnome and a little fall flower leaf gnome, but we are gonna make one today that's kind of got a Valentine's Day or love theme. So I'm gonna put these to the side and show you how simple it is to make these. So these little wooden guys right here are from a company called Woodpeckers. I found them on Amazon. I will give you a link for those. They're super cute, they're made of wood. And the first step is to paint them. So I um, went ahead and got my paint ready. I've got some deco art paint in a color that's great for flesh or skin color and black and white. And I'm not painting a lot, so I'm just gonna shake the paint up, open it up, and I'm gonna grab my paint right from inside the jar. I know a lot of times you should pour it like on a palette or something, but I don't need a lot, so I'm gonna do it right from here. And I'm gonna paint the head here in a flesh color. You can do these in different skin tones. If you look at my ones from the fall, you'll see that I used a bunch of different skin tones for them. Um, just because we all have different skin tones, so I'm assuming that gnomes and fairies do as well but you're gonna paint that and then let that dry. And you're gonna paint the bottom part black. So I'm just gonna rinse my brush right here, have some water, and I'm gonna take it back here and dry it off on a paper towel, and I'm gonna get my black out. So here's my black paint. I don't need much. So I'm just gonna dip it in there, and I'm gonna paint the base of my guy black. You could paint him any color you want. I'm just a huge fan of black with white polka dots. So that's what I like to do on the bottom of mine, just so they all from season to season will have that consistent part to them underneath their like leaf, their clothing or their, um, what am I trying to say here? Their wings or their little hats. So I'm gonna paint the bottom part black. I'm gonna set that down to dry and I'm gonna rinse my brush again. Now, so for the white part, we're gonna do little polka dots. To do this, I'm actually gonna put a little bit of paint out on my paper here. And I'm gonna give this just a second to dry. It doesn't have to be all the way dry, I'm gonna blow on it a little bit. But you're gonna use this end of your paintbrush to do your dots. So you're gonna hold your little guy by the head and you're gonna dip your white into, or your um, paintbrush into the little white paint. And then you're gonna do your dots like that. And that's how you get those perfect little round pretty amazing. And then you're going to let this dry completely before you do your next step. To do the eyes, you do the same thing. I'm going to rinse that brush again. I'm going to grab a little bit of black on the end. And I'm going to give him two little dots for eyes. All right, so our little gnome is dry and we're gonna make him uh, or her a hat now. So I've got some coon and felt here and I'm just gonna cut a piece and then I'm gonna turn that, cut that into a triangle. You can make it any size. The more you play with it, the more you'll know what size you want your hats to be for your gnomes. But I'm gonna cut this one into a triangle. Did you know that um, Kuhn and Felt is made from recycled bottles? I think that's such a fascinating fact. I'm gonna cut a little bit of curve into my hat and you'll see why in just a minute. And then I'm gonna curve it around the bottom as well. Just kind of cut, cut it so that it looks like this. So that's what it looks like. Then I'm gonna fold my hat in half and I'm gonna stitch it up the side. Not all the way. I'm going to stop here. I'm going to start at the bottom and stop about a half an inch to an inch from the top. So starting at the bottom, I'm going to thread it through and I'm going to tie this into a knot down here at the bottom so that it will stay tight. So I'm just going to tie that into a little knot and then I'm going to tie it into a second one, like a double knot, to hold it securely while I stitch and when I flip it inside out. And then I'm going to stitch up the side. So I'm just going to stitch here quickly right up the sides, bringing these two edges ah, together as I go. And because I cut that little curve out, it's gonna give the hat a little bit more of a shape or a personality. Um, 
every hat's a little different when you do it this way. You can also cut these out on your Cricut machine. If you're doing a whole bunch of them, that's what I do when I make a batch of gnomes. I just cut out all of these little patterns on the Cricut machine, not by hand. I'm going to knot this close to the top. I'm going to show you how I did that in case you're not sure. So you stitch it through. You have this big loop, and you pull it until you have just a little bit of a loop left, and you stick the needle through the loop and pull it tight, and that knots it off for you. And then I'm going to cut that extra thread off, and I'm going to keep this because I still need this. Now I need to flip my hat. So I'm going to take that paintbrush that I use for painting, and I'm going to flip my hat inside out. And to get it all the way through, I'm going to use the paintbrush as a flip tool. On my Christmas list is a flip tool. So I'm hoping somebody gets one of those for me. Now I have my adorable little gnome, a hat. So cute. All right, I went ahead and pre-cut the little skirt or the necktie or whatever you want to call this little piece out, the little um, piece of clothing. And I went ahead and got that cut before I started, but you can see what it looks like. It's just a bunch of little loop, 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 loops. And I'm going to take my thread that I have left over here, and I'm going to stitch all the way across the top in big stitches, just kind of gathering it as I go until I get it all on my needle, just like that. And then I'm going to pull that through. And I'm going to get rid of my needle. And I have it all on here. Now I'm going to spread it out like that so you can see what it looks like. I'm going to gather it back together a little bit. And I'm going to tie that around the gnome's neck. These pegs are so perfect for this. And then I'm just going to double knot it on there, pulling it tight, super tight. I'm double knotting. And then I'm going to trim that extra string off. All right, so now he's got his little flower petal decoration. Now we want to get the hat to the, stuck to the top of his head. I'm going to use some Fabri-Tac because this works awesome with felt and wood and will really hold this well. So I'm going to get some Fabri-Tac. It takes a second. This is made by Beacon Adhesives and it is awesome. I love this glue. I'm going to put a big glob of it on the top of his head, just like that. And then I'm going to get my hat to touch it and hold it on. This glue dries really fast. So I'm going to give it just a second to glue, make sure there's not glue on his face. And then we're going to put the final touches on him. Okay, looking so cute, but needs a little bit of embellishment just to make this little gnome super special. So I have some red and white um, twine here. I'm just going to tie it around the top of the hat into a little bow like this. Pull it a little tight. Tie a bow. Make the little loops smaller because I don't want the loops to be so big. And then I'm going to trim those off. Show you what I'm doing here. And then I have this little token that says love. This is uh, Tim Holtz token. I just got these at Michael's. They come in a pack of a whole bunch of them and say all these cute, really cute different things. And I'm going to stitch that to the top of the hat here or the middle of the hat. So I'm just going to put a little bit of string through here. Put my token through here. I don't need the needle anymore. I just use that to make it easier than trying to thread it through the hole. I'm going to tie that on in a double knot really tight. And then I'm going to trim off the extra string here. So we don't need that. And there he is, a little gnome of love. So adorable. I love him. So cute. OK. So stinking adorable, don't you think? So cute and so easy to make. You can do them for all the holidays and all the occasions or just for fun. Like I think I want to do for April, for St. Patrick's Day, like a rainbow of gnomes. That's kind of on my mind and that's what I'm thinking I'm going to do next. So I really appreciate you tuning in and watching this today. Please be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment and let me know what kind of gnome you'd most like for me to make and I will be on it. Have a wonderful day and happy crafting.